DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're gonna to be doing a 20 minute, no repeat dumbbell back workout. So for this workout, we're gonna do 20 exercises performed all in a row in just one set of each exercise. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and there are no extended breaks for this workout. I will be using uh, 20 or 20 pound and 35 pound dumbbells for your reference. Some of them it might be a little bit easier for me, other ones it might be a little bit of a strain to use that way, but I'm trying to keep it simple. So if you like this workout, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's get to work. All right, we're about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness driving watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going into is clean pools on the left side. So for the majority of these exercises, we will be able to use just a single dumbbell. Be sure to go heavy. So I'm gonna grab a 35 here, hold it in my left hand, get a nice wide stance here, drop down, come up, pull it up, come back down. The dumbbell stays nice and close to the body here. It's not way out like that. Here we go. So dropping down, coming up. I'm up, there we go. So explode through the legs to help get that momentum up. Exhale as you pull it up. There we go. So we're staying on the same side the entire time. If you want to make it even tougher on the back, you could have almost no bend in the legs to help generate momentum. That's really going to tear the back up. Let's get one more. Here we go. All we're doing here. For the next one, and we're just switching sides. Clean pulls, right side. Feel that back already heating up now. Maybe keep that back nice and straight here too while we're doing this. We don't want to be hunched over. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. If your dumbbell is maybe a little too heavy, then just drop down a little lower so you can really explode through. And get that momentum to pull it up. If your dumbbell's a little light, then try to just kind of pull it up right there. No legs. There we go. Keep pushing. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, we got one more. Here we go, 20 seconds, and then we're going into bent over rows on the left side. So, get a nice foot stance here, right leg out front. I'm gonna take my right hand, put it on my right knee. That's gonna help brace my lower back here. Grab a dumbbell left hand, lower back, straight. Come up, back down. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. As you come up, exhale. Come up, squeeze, all the way down. Come up, squeeze, all the way down. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. There we go, one more. Here we go, we're switching sides here. Bend over rows, right side. Whew. Make sure when you come up, you really squeeze the back. Focus on getting that contraction, and then coming all the way down, full range of motion. Here we go. Let's go up and down. Come on, push it. Good control movements. Uh, keep pushing yourself halfway on this one. Keep going. Ten seconds. Oh, we got one more. Here we go. Twenty second break. 
We're going in to shrugs. Get some water if you need it. So for shrugs, we're gonna grab our dumbbells. We're gonna come up, bring those shoulders up, not the head down. Here we go. Coming up and back down. Up and back down. Make sure that you don't pull the head down and strain the neck while you're doing these. If you only have one dumbbell, then just switch sides in just a second. So we're at the halfway point here, you can switch sides. There we go. Squeeze and you come up all the way down. Thumb up, squeeze, all the way down. Full range of motion. One more. Here we go. All right, next we're gonna go into a shrug high pull. So for these one we're gonna do is we're gonna get the shrug and then we're just gonna kick our elbows straight back and try to pull it up as high as we can. You may need to lower your weights just a little bit. That might include me, but we're gonna see. Here we go. So get the shrug and then high pull. Shrug and then high pull. Come on. Remember, don't strain the neck. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. Really kick those elbows back. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, we got one more. Alright, our next exercise we're going to do is shrug hops. So this time we're going to get the shrug as we hop. And then what we're going to do is try to resist. So as we come up on that little hop, we're going to try to resist the dumbbells coming down. Here we go. So get the hop and then let it go. So try not to just come and just drop. Stop your arms from going down as you land on that hop. Come on. Really tearing the traps up. Here we go. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. What you got? We go. Next one we're going into is reverse grip rows, left side. So similar to the original rows, you get that split stance. This time our palm is going to be facing out away from us. The elbow is going to stay really nice and close to the body. We're going to pull the dumbbell up to our hip here. It's almost like you're pulling up and back on this one. Here we go. So come up and back, squeeze, back down. There we go. Again, when you come up, get that full contraction, really squeeze it. Come all the way back down. Mm. Let's go. Keep pushing. Keep that palm facing away. Switching sides. Couple seconds left. Reverse grip rows, right side. We're gonna keep that back nice and straight. We go, elbow stays tucked to the body. Come on. Come up, squeeze. Back down. Come up, squeeze. Go. All right, 
I'm gonna go with a lighter dumbbell on this next one. So we're gonna do side lat pullovers. So I'm gonna lay on my right side. What I like to do is tuck my arm almost like I'm sitting like this, but I actually kind of bend it. It's gonna help support my head from here. Dumbbell left hand up here, like this, and then we're gonna bring it up right here. So if you want, you can see, you can have your arm come in front of your face and see how that feels, or kind of just behind the head and then back up and over. Whew. Oh, I wish I had like a 15 pound dumbbell, actually. Oh, brutal. Come on. Let's go. So we just need to go to vertical or just a little less on that. We don't need to go way down here. It's not doing anything for the lat. Oh. Whew. All right, all we're doing here is just switching sides. So side, lat pull over, right side. Here we go. Couple seconds. Over down, slow and controlled, I'm back up. Should really be feeling it right in here. Here we go, try to keep that arm as straight as possible. Feel the stretch. Ooh, Ooh come on, that foot. It ain't supposed to be easy. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. One more. Here we go. All right, we're gonna stand back up. We're gonna go into DB swings here. So left side here, get a nice little wide stance so the dumbbell can pass through your legs when we come out and back. So the back, lower back is staying nice and straight here. And then we're thrusting the hips. Thrust the hips, coming up. There we go. Keep that back nice and straight. Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. Here we go. Switching sides. DB swings, right side. That gets the heart rate up right there. Here we go. Couple seconds. Switching sides. Here we go. Remember. Back stays nice and straight. Come on. Let's go. Halfway. Keep pushing. Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. scapular rows. So what we're going to do here, slight bend in the knees, bending at the hips, lower back stays nice and straight, let our arms hang, and then we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades, trying to bring the shoulder blades together here. There we go. We come up, back down. We don't want to be like this, doing this. Back nice and straight, chest out, head up. Come up, squeeze, back down. Let's go. Come on. Oh, squeeze. Keep pushing. There we go. 
So we're gonna do high rows next. We're just gonna do one at a time. So I kinda like to brace my back here. We're gonna row nice and high. So it's gonna come up. Dumbbells should come like right around the armpit, right around here, not way up here. Here we go. Come up and back down. Up and back down. We'll switch in 20 seconds. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. Switch it up. There we go. Come on. Couple seconds left. Here we go. All right, next we're going in to dead rows. So we're going to do a deadlift in a row. And it's going to be fun. At least that's what I'm going to tell you. All right, so we're going to grab our dumbbells here. Start out like we're dropping into a deadlift here. Come up, row, back down. Here we go. So, boom. Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. Come on. Push it out. Five seconds. Woo, here we go. All right, next we're going in to pull over. So I'm gonna use two dumbbells if you want. You can only use one, that's totally fine if that's all you got. I'm gonna try to keep them together here, like this. Slide into my elbows, come back, back up. Here we go. So coming down. So after we had that slide in the elbows, Everything else is happening in the shoulders. There we go. Focus on the lats here. Come on. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. standing here for W raise. So W raise, start with the dumbbells here. And we're going to get external rotation. Keep the elbows nice and low. Come back down. There we go. Come up, squeeze, back down. If you want, what you can do is you can come up, rotate your thumbs backwards. When you're up, you really squeeze back. There we go, come on. Keep pushing yourself. Come on. One more. Woo. There we go, next we're going in to DB Man Makers. So the DB man makers, we're gonna get a clean here. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna hold our dumbbells, drop down, get a push up, come up, clean, press, back down. Here we go. So back down, push up, come up, clean it up, press, back down. There we go. Come on. Forty seconds. Let's go. Keep pushing. We got one more at least. Woo! There we go. Our right, last 
Hallelujah. 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 Good mornings. Nice little lower back exercise here. You can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells, no dumbbells, it don't matter. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bend at the back, come down, come back up. Good control movements. There we go. There we go. We are bending at the lower back here. One of the few times I'll say that. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.